Well, you didn't see me do it, but uh, I went ahead and I got the safety chains welded on. So now we're pretty legal in the bed here. Uh, did a little spray lubing around on the doors. So they sort of open pretty good now. Uh, I've got the license tag on the back. And uh, yeah, so we got a couple of, we got, I got one, uh, one comment um, in the previous video about this that I, maybe I shouldn't fill it up all the way. Um, you know, I did the math on it. You're, dude, you're probably right. <laughs> um, so I probably won't fill it up all the way. In fact, if, uh, if I'm going to figure out how many bushels the uh, extension gives me and maybe I'll uh, take the extensions off, you know gives a lot of extra space there it might be just the right amount but that's about two 225 or so without the extensions I think that would be a good that'd be a good sized uh, buggy to haul with for me so anyhow um, that'll pretty much do it for this so if you if you're feeling generous, reach down there and subscribe and uh, give me a like if you can. Uh, I'd sure appreciate it. All right, so we're about ready to send the uh, the new wagon, the new trailer on its maiden voyage. Well, actually, this is like its second voyage. We, um, I took one load this morning and then uh, I'm loading up a second load right now. I got one, one small, that that little wagon over there was not quite full i put that in and this one here is a little fuller i think you can see the corn over top of it and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and fill this fill this thing up so what we got to do is start the tractor all right i'll probably put you down because i need the coal i need the uh the choke here Yes, why don't you look at the nice blue sky for a second. All right, there we go. Gauge the power takeoff. Yeah, we're turning. Oh, I gotta go over here and open up the gate. See what it looks like inside. There's a bunch of corn in there. There we go. And we also see a nice view from up here.
didn't open it up another notch here. It seems to be handling it okay. moisture which is not super bad I don't think as long as the weather is nice to get the stuff out of the field man oh man I think I'd pay the extras to get it dried few cobs up in the in the corn they're not docking me for any corn material though so I'll, I'll I'm gonna go with the way it is because the combines actually doing a fairly decent job of harvesting so we'll, uh, we'll just let it let it do its thing See how we're doing in the trailer. All right, he's filling her up. So this is a Kill Brothers model 450. I went online. They are rated for 350 bushel. Um, Years I can tell how they do. They come, they come with this extension box from the factory that way. Because I was half thinking that maybe I would take that off, but now I see that it's like welded on in several places. That's gonna be a heck of a job. I think, I think I would like to get a rollover tarp for it. We're almost out. Oh, oh. It's not an earthquake. It's just me sh shaking the shaking the wagon. We don't have to do as much uh, sweeping. This is 
is why I don't want to take these on the road. Because <laughs> they are sloppy and loose and they are they are they are no longer good for the road. Although I did do them last year. They were scary. <laughs> 